Hey, and welcome to Shepherd MD, where you can hear what your doctor might have told you if they had the time. The answers to your health and wellness questions when you want them and for free. So I'm going to talk you through something that has developed over the past few years as far and away the most successful way to help our patients quit smoking. All right, it, it is um, pretty simple and it's pretty effective, which is not like most of the other approaches that we've tried. Medicines can work great in some people. They're certainly worth trying. Uh, there are other methods that work for some people. I'm not discrediting those, but this has worked better for us than anything else that I've found. So, first thing you're gonna do is go to the store and buy some two milligram nicotine gum. So, most people will look at you at this point and say, yeah, I'm out, this, this is not gonna work. Listen to the, the way you're gonna do this. You're not gonna follow the package instructions and this will work for a lot of people. Usually people like the mint coated versions more. Um, certainly whatever flavor you like is fine, but, but I found that people tend to stick with it better with that particular one in a lot of cases. So you're gonna go and you're gonna have a plan for two cigarettes in the morning and two cigarettes in the evening. And in between, any time you think, I want a cigarette, you're gonna reach and get a piece of the two milligram nicotine gum. You're gonna take that gum and you're gonna put it in your mouth, you're gonna chew it up a little bit, and then you're gonna stick it over in your cheek and you're gonna use it like you're dipping. You're gonna let it sit there, you can chew on it intermittently, and then once the taste is gone, spit it out and move on. Now, what you're gonna avoid by using the gum that way is uh, kind of a peppery taste that people just don't like, and that's a, often the reason that they move away from the gum. So if you will use it this way, you can, for the most part, avoid that, if not completely avoid that. So you're gonna go for one month, and at the end of one month, having used the gum pretty much any time you think you want a cigarette, all the way through the day, and having two cigarettes in the morning and two cigarettes in the evening. Now in month two, you're gonna half your number of cigarettes. You can do that all in the morning or evening or one in the morning, one in the evening, but you're going to half it. You're going to go another month doing exactly the same thing. And after that, you're going to half it. And then the last month, you're going to cut them out completely once you're all the way down to having had one cigarette per day for a month. If you stick with that, you can first break the associations of I get in the car and I smoke a cigarette, or I have a cup of coffee and I smoke a cigarette. You, you can break those associations first. You can get your number way down, and then over the course of about three months or so, you can get off of them. After you get off, you just keep chewing the gum. Whenever you're ready, we can work on that. But I hope that you will give this a shot or that you will share this with someone who is trying and wanting to quit, or even someone who hasn't really wanted to quit. Sometimes you can just plant the seed and get them thinking, yeah, I, I could do that. So please share, give this to anyone that you think it might help, and I wish them success. I hope you found value in the information we went over today. If you did, please click below to subscribe. Click the bell to receive notifications if you would like, and give us a thumbs up. Please remember this is for education and entertainment. It is not to take the place of spending time in conversation with your healthcare provider. You've been entrusted with a very valuable gift. You're only gonna have one body. Please put the time and effort in to take care of it. I hope you have a blessed day.